Hey guys, I'm back. I know I haven't posted a video in a few weeks and I apologize for that. Bree and I have been really busy these past couple of weeks. We started school last week and so our schedules have just gotten really busy and I haven't had time to record a video. Again, I apologize. I know you guys have been asking when I was gonna post another one. Today is Labor Day and I wanted to sit down, literally, and record a video for you guys. So yeah, let's get into it. So today's video, I have a really cool device slash utensil I want to share with you guys. This item is by a company called Virility, and they partnered with the Reef Foundation to send these um, assistive utensils to people with limited hand function to help them assist with eating. And they sent it to people that they thought it would work well with, so they sent one of them to me. And I wanted to open it up and show you guys what it is how it works and what it does for me. So it is called Liftwear Level by Virilli. It is basically a self-leveling utensil that helps people eat with limited hand and arm mobility. So I'm gonna open it up and show you guys what it is. All right, so this is the base of it. It's basically this little little thing. And what I, what I would, would do is put my hand in it like this, so hold like that, and then here is the spoon, and I've already kind of tested this out just so I knew kind of what I was doing. Basically, it, it connects right here, um, almost magnetizes, and then it, it makes, it'll make like a little sound, and if you can see, when I turn it, it like self-levels, any direction I go, let's see, it'll kind of turn around. They like, just did like a 360, this thing is so cool. But yeah, basically for people who don't have hand function, such as myself, or limited arm function, whenever we're eating, you know, this, this is supposed to help. So I have some yogurt and granola in front of me, as well as some cereal, because that's more liquidy. I kind of wanted to make two different things and compare them. And I'm gonna test this spoon out, and I also have a normal spoon that I'm gonna to attempt to use. So, let's check this thing out. All right, so here is my bowl of yogurt and granola. I had to back up a little bit just so you guys could see everything that's in my lap. And I have a regular spoon right here. And the liftware spoon. So I'm gonna use the regular spoon first and just kind of show you how I'm able to do that. Uh, basically what I would do is just put this spoon in between my fingers and my fingers do cap, like, it kind of sits naturally, but when I wanna go down and to scoop and get food, it will just fall out, see? So I am able to use regular spoons, but it, it's like work. I have to cause a spasm in my hand which right now I'm doing, and it's actually squeezing, so if you see, it won't fall out. But basically the whole time I'm holding the spoon and feeding myself, I'm having to like squeeze my hand as hard as I can, and even then it's not super strong. So with this spoon, I will do a little scoop, and like this. So normal normally spoon works, but it definitely takes an effort for me to use this, and my spasm is gone now, so it just slides out of my hand. So every time I have to take a scoop to feed myself, I have to cause a spasm, my hand closes, and I have about like 10 to 15 seconds before it'll relax again. So I get my scoop, eat, basically repeat. So this spoon is hopefully gonna eliminate that. Let's see. Oh my gosh. 
So this thing needs charge and it looks like the battery just died. So I'm gonna have to charge it and I will be right back. So since the battery just died on me and I have to charge it, I figured I'd show you guys how the charger works. So I basically pulled the spoon off the head of the device and this is the charging cable you basically just put on like the spoon and it magnetizes in, it's super easy and very accessible. And then from this point, you plug the USB into the part that goes into the wall. So I'm gonna do that right now and charge it for a little bit and I'll be back. All right, so we are back and the liftware device is charged. So let's do this again. So this has an adjustable, uh, grip on it where you put your hand in so if you have a smaller hand you can tighten it if you have a bigger hand you can loosen it so I already have mine adjusted to how my my hand fits so slide my hand right in like this and if you can't see my hands are even open I'm not even gripping this thing and it's it's pretty secure so let's test it out I got the spoon right here Look at that. Ooh. This thing is so cool. So this is level. Alright, so if you can see the bowl. Sorry, I'm kind of far away. But so let's scoop it. So this is holding it level with the yogurt. And again, I can bend my hand in any way. Oops, a little piece fell, but if you really try and hold it, it the, the spoon moves with you. So this thing is really cool. I definitely can see how it helps, and I'm curious to see how it'll work with cereal, or like soup, something with liquid, because I can't really eat soup. Um, because it falls everywhere and spills. So I'm gonna make a bowl of cereal and see how that goes. I don't have any soup right now. And it's the morning and I don't want soup. So I'm gonna make a bowl of cereal and then we'll test it out. All right, so we got some vanilla almond granola and my favorite almond milk. I love almond milk. And then here's our bowl. So I actually never do this. So I'm gonna pour some cereal and then pour milk. Hopefully I don't spill anywhere. And it's the beginning of September, so for those of you that don't know, September is Spinal Cord Injury Awareness Month. So if you wanna learn some cool facts or support Spinal Cord Injury Awareness Month, just look it up on the internet and I'm sure there's a bunch of stuff out there right now. I don't have any facts or information off the top of my head, but I do know that it's the beginning of September and that is Spinal Cord Injury Awareness Month. good enough. Here comes the real test. Shake it a little bit. Don't tell Bree I did that.
Alright, so now I'm going to use the liftware leveling spoon to see how it does with cereal. I actually have like a really deep bowl right now, so I'm going to kind of lean it so I can scoop it, scoop it better. Alright, I don't want to spill this. But if you can see... It doesn't spill the milk super bad. As long as you're careful, and I can turn my hand anyway, and the spoon goes with how my hand is positioned. That's pretty cool. I, I think it works pretty awesome. I really like this this spoon. I think it would work great for people who don't have good hand function or arm stability and they need assistance eating. This may be able to give them the independence they need to eat on their own. So again, this is from a company called Virilli and they partnered with the CRISPR Reef Foundation and they sent this to me for free to test out to see how I liked it. It's called a Liftware Self-Leveling Utensil. So. I'm not sure if they have like attachments for a fork or a knife maybe. I, I think that would be pretty cool if they did. I haven't looked into that. But if you think that this product could benefit you or if you know someone that you think it could benefit them, definitely check it out. This is really cool. Again, it's just to help people with limited hand function eat independently basically. And it really amazes me the type of technology that there is out right now. Um, I had no idea something like this existed, so thank you again, Virilli and the Reef Foundation for sending this out to me to test out. I love it. But yeah, that's it for this video, guys. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Comment below on what you thought of this, what else you guys want to see from me in the future. I know school's starting and it's only going to get more busier, so if I don't post videos in a little while, please be patient with me. I still want to make videos for you guys. Give me more ideas, and I will see you all in my next one. Thank you. I hope you all have a great day. Bye.